Hi, it's Miriam, the frugal chef. Let's make baked ziti. Gracie asked me for this, so Graciela, here you go. I hope you like it. It's a very easy recipe, really, and it's so good. I had to get off my diet. It was worth it. <laughs> Let's make this. Let's make our pasta sauce for the ziti, okay? I'm gonna add a, this was about a medium-sized white onion. I'm just gonna brown this for a little bit and this skillet, I put a little bit of olive oil in here and I'm gonna brown it for, oh, I don't know, four or five minutes and then we'll add the rest of our stuff. I'm gonna make a quick sauce um, that then we'll, you know, we'll get all our stuff together. So, I'll see you in a few minutes. This onion is starting to brown. I'm gonna add three large garlic cloves to this. I just want to let this cook for, you know, half a minute, minute max. Right here I have one pound of brown sausage. I browned it and I drained it. I just bought bulk so pork sausage, one pound. You can, uh, if you're buying the one in casings, of course, get rid of the casings before you brown it, okay? Get rid of all the excess fat. So we're gonna add that to our onions and our garlic. Season it with black pepper, ground oregano, and ground basil. Mix this well. I'm gonna add a 29 ounce can of tomato sauce. And about a quarter of that can water. Gonna bring this to a boil, let it simmer for about 20 minutes, and then we'll mix it with our pasta. While our sauce is cooking, why don't we uh, cook our pasta? I'm just, I have, as you can see, a big pot of uh, boiling water here. This is my pas uh, pasta cooker. Um, I'm gonna add salt to my water. I never add oil to my water when I'm cooking pasta because I find that it doesn't allow the sauce you know, it slips off after the pasta is cooked. So, only water and salt. So I added a pound of ziti pasta to this. If you don't know what that looks like, here you go. It's a little, uh, you know, like a little tube. If you can't find ziti, use penne pasta you know it's a little it's cut differently but it'll do perfectly fine so give your pasta a stir and then let it be it should be ready within eight to ten minutes you don't want to overcook it you want it to be al dente I'll be back this pasta is ready you know when I say al dente what I mean is you want to feel a little bit of the noodle when you bite into it not a crunch, you know, <laughs> but a little bit. So you just, what you are gonna try to do is not overcook it. So all I'm gonna do now is drain this and I'm gonna set it aside. So let's get our things ready for the oven. Uh, Preheat your oven at 350. We're gonna bake this for about 25 to 30 minutes until the sauce is bubbling and the cheese on top is melted. Now then here's the deal with this. You can make this two ways. You can layer it inside your baking pan or you can do it like we're gonna do now, which is mix all your ingredients and then we'll put a top layer of, of meat and cheese. Um, I prefer it that way. I think the pasta just tastes better. In here I'm putting 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. Now just for making this easier, just so that ricotta will mix well, I'm gonna mix it first with the sauce, a little bit of the sauce at least. I want to mix it well, and I don't want to have pieces of ricotta that haven't been mixed. So go ahead and mix it. We're going to put all our pasta in here, our cooked pasta. And we're going to add most of our sauce. I want it to leave a little bit for the top. Thank you. 
I'm also going to mix a beaten egg to this. And mozzarella cheese, shredded mozzarella cheese. I have about two cups here. I'm going to use one here first. Okay. So now mix all that well. So now let's put this in our casserole pan. We're going to level this down nicely, nicely, nicely. And I'm going to layer the top with the rest of our sauce. On top of this, I'm going to add a little bit more of my mozzarella cheese. And some Parmesan cheese. Oh, this is gonna be really, really good. I'm not supposed to be eating noodles. Oh, what am I gonna do? In the oven we go. I will see you guys when this is cooked. Look at this. Yeah. Oh my, I, I have no words to describe this. It's just so beautiful and delicious and it smells so good. <laughs> You know, the heck with the diet, I'm gonna have a piece of this, I don't care. Bon Appetit from the frugalchef.com, my friends. Eat well without going broke. Make sure you come to the website and see us. We have all kinds of recipes that are not in video form. Take care of yourselves, I'll see you guys soon.